Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a review on the Sony DSC WX9. It's a compact digital camera. Um, I mainly purchased this camera because I was going to take a trip to New York City and um, didn't want to have to, you know, carry around my larger Nex 5. I just wanted something that was gonna you know, be able to slip into my pocket and you know disappear and still be able to take good quality pictures and video. So um, I was deciding between the Canon Elf 300 or this, and uh, at first I was siding with the uh, Canon, but when I saw them both at the store, um, actually I picked this one up at Target. Um, when you compare the two cameras, this one's got so much more technology in it um, that I just couldn't bring myself to get the Canon. So anyways, I picked this up and uh, have had about a week's use of it. Um, I just wanted to do a review on it. So as I said, this is the Sony WX9. Um, it's a 16.2 megapixel compact digital camera. You can see how tiny it is. It's got a uh, 25 millimeter wide, wide angle lens as well as a uh, um, 125 millimeter zoom or 5x zoom. So you get a uh, a large range of focal distances with this camera. It's got a bunch of pretty nice uh, features, starting with the 16.2 megapixel Exmor R CMOS sensor. Um, that's a backlit sensor, so it's going to take very good low light images. Um, as I said, it's got the wide angle 5x zoom lens, has a 3 inch 9,000 pixel, um, I'm sorry, 900,000 pixel uh, screen. Nice detail in the screen. Um, it takes 1080i uh, or 1080-60i AVC HD um, HD video and you can also while taking a video take still images uh, which is a pretty cool feature it has a couple neat features um, it has a uh, superior auto mode which will take a couple pictures and what that does is it kind of helps to uh, create a, a, a sharper image in uh, tougher uh, conditions like low light conditions or bright conditions it just helps to uh, create a more uh, viewable more desired uh, picture so that's pretty neat um, as well as an HDR mode it has which obviously if you know anything about HDR it'll take a couple different pictures bracketed with different exposures and uh, compile them together to take a uh, get kind of a dynamic contrast look which is pretty cool it's got a background defocus mode which is actually pretty neat it doesn't work in the same sense as the background defocus uh, works on the Sony Nex or any you know larger DSLR cameras with a uh, larger you know sensor. What this does is it actually uses it takes a picture, then it uses the you know inboard uh, processor to scrub out and uh, kind of defocus the background after the picture's already been taken. So, I mean, it's kind of hit and miss, but when you do actually get it to work, it does create a kind of a kind of a cool effect that, you know, it's very good for portraits. Um, it'll make your subject stand out. So that's a pretty cool feature. It also takes uh, 3D images as well as 3D uh, panoramic images. They'll have a card in there, so. Um, so as I said, I'll take 3D images. 
as well as 3D panoramas and it also has this uh, mode that's called let me get to it it's called 3D or sweep multi-angle so this is pretty cool what this does is it's sort of like a panorama but um, you can view it back in the camera and it uses the accelerometer in the camera to actually give you sort of a 3D perspective say if you take a, a portrait of someone's face using the sweep 3D um, when you view it back you will uh, kind of get a effect that's sort of 3D like so here's an example of what I was talking about with the 3D sweep panorama I don't know if you can should be able to pick that up you can see as I tilt the, the camera left and right the um, sensor in the camera kind of moves the picture around to create kind of a uh, 3D environment there so that's pretty cool another cool feature with this camera is the ability to uh, capture full resolution still images at 10 frames per second which is something that you don't get with many other uh, still cameras um, especially in this price range so that's pretty cool um, I forgot to mention the uh, the lens is a Carl Zeiss um, Vario Tessar uh, so it's quality glass um, it's pretty fast to uh, zoom in and zoom out it takes a little bit less than two seconds to complete the uh, cycle there um, it's also got a uh, digital zoom um, that can be used once you reach the uh, maximum threshold of 5x optical it could uh, apply digital zoom which of course is going to degrade your picture quality because it's going to be a uh, grainy so I wouldn't recommend using that but uh, that is there if you feel the need to use it and uh, it's got optical steady shot image stabilization built into the uh, camera so that's going to help with uh, taking videos um, using the zoom it'll create a, uh, a smoother picture it's got face detection technology that will uh, automatically detect and lock on to faces that are in the picture um, for focusing so if you're taking a, a portrait or you know a picture of a uh, crowd or something and you want to get the people in focus it'll automatically detect the faces and focus on those faces it's got a couple other neat modes um, it's got a soft skin mode um, which let's see here let's go through some of the modes soft skin that uh, says shoot more beautiful skin um, so what this does is kind of uh, reduces the appearance of blemishes and wrinkles um, when taking a detailed or close-up portrait you have this soft snap um, that's gonna shoot your subject with a softer background so imagine that's gonna sort of try to uh, enhance the foreground and kind of degrade the background it has the anti-motion blur, blur which is one of the uh, modes that the next five also has um, what this does is it takes a series of pictures and uh, compiles them together um, it's uh, used mainly in low light situations and it takes a series of pictures and compiles them together to uh, create a, a um, sharper and uh, less blurry image it has your HDR then it has uh, some other modes that are more common in all it's got 14 modes uh, 
in the scene selection menu. It has an anti-blink function that will uh, analyze your subject for blinking and it will not take the picture if the subject blinks. It's got uh, HDMI output. Right here it's got the HDMI door so you can output your uh, pictures and video to a compatible high definition TV which I never use but I imagine if someone wanted to plug the camera into the TV it would be uh, helpful um, it's got transfer jet technology which is something I've never heard of but uh, anyways I guess it's uh, something that allows you to uh, wirelessly transfer files between uh, two uh, compatible transfer jet devices um, so anyways let's take a look at the uh, exterior of the camera you have your stereo mics up on top you have a on off button here you have your shutter release as well as the zoom toggle um, on the side as I showed you this is the HDMI port nothing else over here on this side you don't have anything on the bottom you have your tripod mount speaker charge port and your battery door which is also your SD card slot um, on the back you have a dedicated uh, movie button here um, you have your playback button you have a menu button a uh, live guide uh, delete button um, you have a scroll wheel as well as a directional button here um, and you have this this uh, neat toggle switch up here that'll take you from picture mode to panorama mode to video mode um, I like having that because it's a nice uh, way to go throughout the modes without having to go into the, the system menu so that's pretty neat well that's pretty much it as far as the uh, features and design of the camera goes um, one thing I do really like about this camera is the uh, video capabilities of it. It can take video that uh, is nearly on par with the uh, um, Sony Next 5. And technically it's the same, uh, same quality. They both take 1080 60i video, although the, uh, the Next 5 is going to have, you know, better uh, um, you know quality because of the sensor being much larger but the video that this takes is uh, is definitely um, something to be reckoned with I would recommend this camera if you are serious about taking video and want a nice compact tiny little camera that'll uh, um, take very good uh, quality uh, video as well as um, pictures for uh, a further um, analysis of this camera and some uh, sample pictures and some more videos um, I would encourage you to check out my photo blog at uh, finleyphotography.blogspot.com I'll put the link down below um, so go there and check out some uh, sample pictures that I'm taking with this and uh, so that's pretty much it. I thank you for watching and